Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to speak on the power of Bitcoin and how Bitcoin will revolutionize how we see, how we hold, and how we value assets. I'm also going to speak on the fact that buying a house is probably, in the future, it's going to be one of the worst investments as an asset. A house should be a home. That's it. But because of greed, many people out of ignorance have turned their homes into assets, which is not a good idea. There was a time in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, and 90s where that was a good idea. But now, with the greed of Wall Street, local governments, county governments, city governments, these municipalities, with the greed that's going on, they are making the cost of home ownership so ridiculous that it's just stupid right at this point. If it's not stupid now, it'll be stupid in 10 years when the average house will cost a million dollars. And it's going to cost between fifty and and $100,000 per year to maintain the insurance and the taxes and the maintenance on a million dollar house. Even if the house is paid off, it's going to cost you about 10% of the value of that home. To maintain it. So yes. Owning Bitcoin. And a small piece of property. A small home. Or just renting. Or just moving to another country. That has a. A lower standard. Of living. May be your best option. Now. Bitcoin as an asset has many advantages that other assets simply don't have. And I have compiled a list of 20 advantages that Bitcoin have over other assets. Most assets need a product, needs manpower and labor to make it an asset. It needs consumerism. Bitcoin does not need consumerism in order for it to make it a valuable asset. See, that's what's so attractive about Bitcoin. Other stocks and corporations, they need products, human labor. They need consumerism in order to create value. And they need lots of it. They have to sell millions of cell phones, millions of shoes, millions of watches, millions of shirts. And they have to have millions and hundreds of millions of people to produce these items. So hold on, guys. Okay, guys. So here's a list of 20 advantages that Bitcoin have or disadvantages that traditional assets must have in order to create their value that Bitcoin don't need and don't have in order for it to create its value. Let's go. Sweatshops. Corporate reliance on cheap labor in exploitative working conditions. That's one of the conditions that's almost required in order to create value for stocks like Walmart, Amazon, and Nike. Wage theft. Employers withholding wages or failing to pay overtime. See, these are some of the things that corporate America will do to the employees. Union busting. 
systematic efforts to undermine worker organizations and collective bargaining. Bitcoin don't have that problem. Excessive executive pay. Disparity between CEO comp compensation and worker wages. That's a problem that Bitcoin will not have. In order to create value. See, all everything I'm about to name here is how corporate America creates value. In other words, it's by exploitation and abuse. Stealing, exploitation, abuse, and the disparity of wages. That's how they create value for themselves. By cheating you and me. Let's continue. Environmental degradation. Prioritizing profit over sustainable practices leading to pollution and habitat destruction. See? Oils, paints, and the other hazardous material spilling oil in the Gulf, Exxon, these kind of practices creates value, but it destroys the environment at the same time. Planned obsolescence, designing products with limited lifespans to force frequent replacements. See, the, co the corporate America's assets and values is created off consumerism. Predatory lending, trapping vulnerable populations in cycles of debt. The traditional asset value of assets is predicated on exploitation and debt. Manipulated markets, corporate influence over markets through lobbying and, and monopolistic practices. Political corruption, heavy campaign contributions and lobbying to sway po policy decisions. Health exploitation, marketing harmful products like junk food or cigarettes while obscuring risks. See, these type of practices is what create value to corporate America. See, these are the type of assets that you must invest in in order to acquire wealth. But when you invest, invest in Bitcoin, Bitcoin is not here to exploit you, exploit your health, manipulate the market, political corruption, predatory lending, planning obsolescence, environmental degradation bitcoin don't have those problems in order to create value see guys i gotta keep saying that what does corporate america in these assets what do what do the magnificent seven have to do in order to create value they must exploit you they must lie to you they must cheat you let's continue data ex data exploitation selling personal data without consent facebook matter amazon the, 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 the corporate health system they sell your data apple samsung T-Mobile, they sell your data. Ford sells your data. Ford sells your driving habits to insurance companies. See? All these companies rely on the exploitation of the consumer in order to create value as an asset. Let's continue. Workplace discrimination, systemic inequality in hiring, pay, and promotion. More exploitation. Unethical marketing. Deceptive advertising to exploit consumer vulnerabilities. Lying to you about labels on food products. Miscategorizing labels. Obfuscating 
information on food products lying about organic ingredients all type of things these corporations are doing to rob you of your wealth supply chain abuse overlooking unethical practices in overseas supply chain for cost saving sweatshops having children working exploiting children in Indonesia exploiting children in Egypt exploiting children in India a company was recently busted in the United States for exploiting children between the ages of 14 and 17 tax evasion exploiting loopholes to avoid contributing fairly to public resources the Magnificent Seven is known for doing that for having one, two, three hundred billion dollars sitting in offshore bank accounts. See, these are the things that they do in order to keep you poor, exploit you, while creating wealth for themselves by hiding money from you and telling you, I can't pay you any more money. I can't give you a raise because I'm going to hide three hundred billion dollars in an overseas bank account. You don't believe me? Hold on one second. Okay, guys, so let's continue. Tax evade exploiting loopholes to avoid contributing federal to public tax. Let me give you an example. Yes, Apple has moved money offshore. Tax saving. <clears throat> let's see. Not right here. Hold on, I'm going to go down to the next. Right here. Apple has booked $252 billion in profit offshore on which it has not paid a dime in U.S. taxes. Its offshore sum is greater than any other company. This is nearly 10% of the total of $2.6 trillion in profits that U.S. Fortune 500 companies disclose holding offshore. See? Gig economy exploitation. Miscli misclassifying workers as independent contractors to avoid benefits and protection. These are some of the problems that... Bitcoin does not have to worry about while it's trying to create value in it as an asset. Health care denial. Companies prioritizing profits over affordable access to health care. Yeah, you can go in for a surgery and they can just flat out deny you, deny your surgery or deny your treatment or deny the drug that you may need. Because of these companies, they have to exploit people a lot of people and even kill people in order to create value in order to create make their asset valuable they must do these things price gouging increasing prices disproportionately during crisis or shortages these are some of the exploitation and patterns that these companies must do to create value for themselves bitcoin do not have to do these things Bitcoin don't have to price gouge. Bitcoin don't, don't have to deny you health care. Bitcoin don't have to exploit you. See, the more knowledge you have about how the system works, the more you're going to understand that you are a tool as a consumer. You've been used and abused to funnel billions and trillions of dollars to the elite. See, this is a course in knowledge and education. That's what this is about. So you can realize that all these things that create value for these for the Magnificent Seven, what creates value for Magnificent Seven? This is the list right here I'm giving to you right here. This is what creates value for them. Exploitation, theft, tax evasion, abuse, wage theft, misclassifying, price gouging, forced relocation. Displacing communities for industrial projects or resource extraction. Wealth inequality. Amplifying economic disparity through disproportionate profit distribution. That's how they do. Bitcoin avoids these issues by being decentralized, censorship resistant, 
and trustless. It operates outside of corporate and governmental control, minimizing many of these abuses. However, Bitcoin isn't free from other challenges, such as energy consumption, debates, or its potential misuse for illicit activities. Okay, all assets, including cash, will be used for illicit activities. I mean, give me a break. Do you think credit cards are not used for illicit activity? I just did a video earlier today where a guy used credit cards to to, to swindle almost a million dollars from DoorDash drivers. So, people use credit cards as fraud to the tune of hundreds of billions of dollars. So, that's not even close. Hold on, guys. Okay, guys. So, yes. So, so basically, that's the point I'm trying to make. You know, the, the Bitcoin solves a lot of problems as a store of value, as an asset. As an asset, Bitcoin remo removes the abuse, the exploitation, the lies, the cheating, the manipulation. It removes those things required to make traditional assets valuable, like Apple, like Microsoft, like Amazon, like Meta, like Tesla. Now Tesla holds now Tesla holds Bitcoin, but Tesla, Tesla, some of their practices are, are, are shady. I must admit, they are shady. You know the way they fire people. They they only pay you like twenty one dollars or twenty three dollars an hour. I mean, there is no way that I'm going to work for an individual that's worth three hundred billion dollars for twenty dollars an hour. Kiss my ass. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. My conscience will not allow me to do that. That's volunteer slavery. That's exploitation. I'm not working at a Tesla factory for $20, $30 an hour. No. No. You're going to give me stock options and $50 an hour. You, are you crazy? I want a free, I want five shares of stock every month. I'm not doing that. They're crazy. Tell, Elon Musk owns, holds over 700 million shares of Tesla stock. Are you kidding me? You know how much that's worth? No way. No way. You got to share some of that. You lost your mind. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video, guys. Just wanted to share that with you. How it's, it's really important for you to understand how, an, how assets and how the value of those assets make you poor, exploit you as a consumer. Because all of those, all of those assets, the Magnificent Seven, is based off cons excessive consumerism. And they keep raising the prices. Because the dollar is getting weaker and it's going to make you poor. Poor, poor, poor. That's it for this video, guys. I'm coming back with another one. Contraband 777. Guys, educate yourself. Get the knowledge and the information that you need to make the right decisions. The future is going to de depend on you. Your future is going to depend on you making the right decisions today. All right, guys. Till next time, guys. Remember, keep your life clean. Keep your car clean. Keep your body clean. Keep your mind clean. Keep your diet clean, guys. Drink plenty of spring water. To flush out the toxins, the chemicals, and the poisons in the food supply. Guys, you are being poisoned. You've been micro poisoned every day. And since you're operating in your lower state, you're also unconsciously poisoning your children and your pets. Stop eating all them damn fried, all them damn spicy hot Cheetos and Doritos and 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 and, and um and, and Frito Lays that you you kill yourself. You're gonna be pooping out red hot crap. You're killing yourself. I'm gonna do a video on that. Until next time, guys. Catch my 777 and I'm signing off. Peace.